I made this video to show you what's possible if you go after your entrepreneurial dreams, whether you're aiming to be a part-time content creator or hoping to eventually quit your job. I'll share how I turned my creative side hustle into a six-figure online business while working full-time. I didn't come from a business or marketing background. It was a lot of trial and error, but I wanna show you it's absolutely doable. I'm going to break this video up into three parts. My story, the income streams I built and how I sustained them and how I grew this business while balancing a full-time job. Let's dive in. I have been working as a full-time engineer for over a decade and I've never enjoyed it. It's never felt fulfilling and I've just always hated the fact that I have minimal control over my own schedule and the amount of money I make based on my position. That's all in someone else's hands. Naturally, I stuck with it because I got comfortable doing it and it was a means to an end. So instead of making a drastic change in my career, I decided to pursue creative side hustles that I would find more fulfilling. In 2019, I started a freelance graphic design side hustle where I focused on event and wedding stationery. Eventually, I expanded to different services where I started designing logos and various branding elements for small business owners. And this was going really well, so well, that I was burning out. I couldn't handle the amount of clients I was accepting, especially because I was balancing it with a full-time job. In 2020, I did a lot of research on YouTube and I came across the idea of passive income. And the first place I ever experimented with was Etsy. It made the most sense for me because I wanted to use my graphic design skills to generate income without burning out. It took me a few months of hard work to finally make consistent sales. I was making around $300 to $400 a month at the time, which was super exciting for me because it was the first time I experienced passive income. So I did more research to figure out other ways to generate passive income. And I wanted to start a YouTube channel for a long time. So I thought that would be the best option because I learned that you could generate multiple streams of income from YouTube, especially if your channel grows, like YouTube AdSense, affiliate marketing, product sales, etc. So in October of 2020, I started uploading videos sharing my experience as a freelance graphic designer and tips on how to get more clients on social media. Fast forward to January of 2021, I joined the YouTube Partner Program where my channel could now get monetized with YouTube ads. And I'll share exactly how my channel got monetized fairly quickly later on, but you can imagine how excited I was to receive my first paycheck from YouTube, which was $193. But for the next few months, I started making around $1,000 to $2,000 a month. And AdSense really does depend on a few factors. So I will leave a really helpful article by TubeBuddy that goes over some of these factors. I was including affiliate links in the description boxes of all my videos. I recommended tools and software that I genuinely loved using for my own business. Now, of course, it took time to get people to click on my links because no one knew who I was and I wasn't getting many views at the start of my channel. Channel. But when it did start growing about three months later, slowly people started showing interest in my recommendations. And I made my first dollar in affiliate income from someone that purchased a package on Creative Market. So for the next few months, my business was generating about $3,000 a month in passive income from selling digital products, YouTube AdSense, and affiliate marketing. Then in September of 2021, I got my first brand deal offer. And I can't share the company and how much they offered due to confidentiality, but it was a four figure amount for like three minutes of content. And I was blown away by this because I would never be able to make that amount of money in my job for that amount of work. I ended up partnering with a brand for the very first time that year, which opened up more doors to other sponsorships that wanted to work with me. So from 2022 to 2023, my business was officially generating six figures because I was partnering with more brands, my YouTube ads and affiliate income was growing, and I started selling more digital products that my audience was interested in, which boosted my monthly revenue even more. And yes, I was still balancing all of this with my full-time job, which I will talk about later. In 2024, we had our baby, and I was on maternity leave for most of it. And although I couldn't really work on my business, it still managed to generate six figures because of everything I had already put into place. Okay, this brings me to my tips on 
how to build the income streams I managed to grow in the last few years. Starting with digital products. The best advice I can give you is to solve someone's problem or meet someone's desire with your digital product. Who is your product serving and how is it helping that person? Typically, educational resources like ebooks and courses or time-saving products like templates tend to perform really well. In my case, my best performing digital product was my Etsy ebook because I saw demand for this and I spoke with real people who were interested in this product before I even created it to make sure it will sell. I had also built an email list before I launched it as well as other digital products. And my email list has been the most important asset in my business. So if you don't already have an email list, growing one needs to be your top priority. Now, my main advice for getting monetized on YouTube is to focus on delivering value to your audience and doubling down on what's working. If one of your videos is outperforming the rest, create more content exactly like that to give your audience more of what they want. One video got way more views than all of my previous ones. So I took that as a signal of what my audience was interested in and created more videos like the one that took off. Also, don't be afraid to create long videos. Just make sure not to add a bunch of fluff. The reason is because not only can you connect more with your audience through longer videos, but it does increase your watch time and gives you the ability to include more ads if you really want to focus on YouTube AdSense. When it comes to affiliate income, make sure you're recommending products that you genuinely stand by and that are relevant to your niche and your audience. So for example, I was recommending tools and platforms like Creative Market, Creative Fabrica, and Canva because I was creating content surrounding digital products and graphic design. So I could organically mention those tools in my videos. My advice for sponsorships is basically the same. Make sure to partner with brands that are relevant to your niche and your audience. Okay, so if you're a content creator or aspiring to be one, here are my tips for turning your side hustle into a six-figure online business while working full-time. First, I highly recommend focusing on one major goal at a time. As creative entrepreneurs, it is very easy to get distracted by all the things we want to do and we experience shiny object syndrome and analysis paralysis. If you look at my story, I focused on building my Etsy shop and getting it to a place that it could make consistent sales without me having to spend much more time on it. It was only then that I started my YouTube channel and that was all I focused on for a few months. Once I saw that my views and subscribers were growing daily, I put more attention into affiliate marketing and sponsorships. If I tried to build everything all at once, I would have burned out very quickly and given up because it wouldn't have been enjoyable or sustainable. My next tip is what really made a huge difference in my growth over the years, and that's to invest in courses. You can definitely spend weeks and months piecing together how to grow your YouTube channel and how to get brand deals. But to truly fast track your success, investing in courses and coaches is the best way to save you a ton of time and frustration trying to figure out everything by yourself. Okay, tip number three is twofold. With the limited time you have, you'll want to be as efficient as possible when you're working on your business. So set a timer, let's say 30 minutes, remove all distractions like your phone or any extra open tabs on your computer and focus on one major task that you need to get done. During this time, you'll want to focus on batching. This isn't a new concept and I'm sure you've heard of it before. It's when you group similar tasks together and complete them all in one focus session. So for example, I would set a timer for 30 minutes and just focus on coming up with content ideas for my next five YouTube videos. In another session, I could set a timer for one hour and focus on scripting two to three videos at a time. This tends to reduce the mental load of having to switch between different types of work and will save you a lot of time. Next, I doubled down on the tasks that not only brought in the most revenue to my business, but the ones I genuinely enjoyed. In my case, I really enjoyed making YouTube videos and collaborating with brands that I love. And so I put more attention into building those areas of my business rather than keeping myself spread so thin. And this can shift over time, but I recommend paying attention to what's already working in your business 
business from every point of view and putting more focus on that as opposed to just always looking for new income streams that you can add to your business. Tip number five is to delegate tasks whenever you can. This could be personal tasks that maybe a family member or a friend can unload while you take time to work on your business. And it can be professional tasks, which will save you so much time. This way, you'll have more time to focus on revenue generating tasks. I eventually hired a video editor who not only does a way better job than I ever did, but it has given me my time back to focus on coming up with more content ideas, engaging with my community, and creating products that I know my audience will love. I saved my best tip for last, which really has been a game changer in my journey. And that's to prioritize a positive mindset. I pretty much guarantee that throughout your entrepreneurial journey, you will experience some form of self-doubt, imposter syndrome, overwhelm, and disappointment. So do what you need to do to get out of those self-doubts whenever they creep up. Have a support person or group that can encourage and motivate you to keep going. Post positive affirmations on your wall that you can repeat to yourself every day and constantly remind yourself of why you're doing this in the first place. As a content creator, you will have so many options on which direction you want to take your business. But if you do want to start a YouTube channel, which is honestly what changed my life, I will link my free YouTube channel setup training in the description box below. If you're wondering why you should start a YouTube YouTube channel even if no one watches be sure to head over to this video next so I'll see you there